I mean, when you look at this roster, what it was when you signed, like, was that part of it, or was this purely like, this is a chance to start, maybe my last chance to start? There, like, there, it. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, there's a little bit of that, no doubt. Um, you know, there was through the, throughout the process, that was kind of my main goal was to find an opportunity to play. Um, you know, this presented itself, and with the staff, with the relationships that I've had with these guys before, um, it made it pretty much an easy transition and an easy decision. So um, I, it's been awesome. It's been great. It's a fun group to be around. Um, I really believe in what Art is building here, and um, it's just fun for me to come into work and uh, be around a lot of good people. I remember I asked you back when you first signed, well, it didn't go well in Tennessee. Why would this be different? Now having been here for a couple years, what have you actually seen that maybe tells you it can be different for you and Art this time versus... Yeah, well, I think from the standpoint of over the course of the last couple of years, we've both learned a lot. Uh, we've experienced a lot. Um, we've gone through different scenarios, different situations. So in that perspective, to be able to have those things, those experiences, and now to bring them out here on the field, um, you know, I, I think we both understand that at the end of the day, we just want to play our best football. Um, and I think Art is doing a great job of allowing me to feel comfortable in, in this game, to feel like I can go out there and play free. Um, so I, I'm excited for this this chance and this opportunity, and I'm looking forward just to kind of continuing to grow with these guys. How much of it do you, how much of it is the same? How much of it, like, do you not have to learn? <laughs> I always, I always kind of pride myself on trying to learn something new every day. Um, and I think that's what's really cool about Art and his staff is they, they try to st uh, stimulate your mind constantly. Um, so there's always brand, brand new ideas. There's always kind of uh, something that we always talk about. Um, so for me, I, I enjoy that part of it. Um, but in terms of the scheme, you know, there's here and th there's here, there's things here and there that are the same. There's things here and there that are different. Um, so for me, I just try to focus on learning everything all over again and learning maybe some of the new stuff they got in there. How did he stimulate your mind today? How did they stimulate your mind today? Since they said they're doing it daily. <laughs> well, um, you know, from a standpoint of, we talked a little bit about red zone situations, um, you know, what coverages, what we're going to see today uh, against, against Coach Pease and our defense. Um, some answers versus certain looks, uh, what we can get in and out of certain situations like that, um, which is which is cool because what's amazing about this game is these situations carry over to third down. They carry over to two minutes. So to be able to talk through those scenarios, I think is for me exciting because you constantly there's always something different that can happen. Um, so to be able to learn in those those things, learn from other teams, learn from what we do out on the field, I think is what's most important. What's it like having Felipe Franks kind of split time between the tight end room and the quarterback? I mean, he might be working with you, getting reps, and then you might be throwing the ball to him. What's just been like seeing that transition for him? Uh, well, first and foremost, it's fun. Um, you know, he's still he's still with us here and there in meetings. He's still with us in the weight room. Um, you know, and then out here on the field, it's kind of cool to go out to him and be like, hey, where could I put that ball? You know, was it where it needed to be? Could I be a little more accurate? So to be able to talk with him and to kind of get it from a different perspective, I think is really cool for me. May I ask you a silly question about July 4th? We're doing trivia really quickly. Okay. And um, of the 45 presidents, how many were born on July 4th? Five. <laughs> That's a lot. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank well, you. No it. problem. Okay, cool. So, I know you had talked about, too, uh, earlier on, just building that, that chemistry with the receivers. How has it been? Uh, what's it been like for you? I know it's only 7-on-7, seven seven, but what's been important for you guys? Well, it's been great. And, I mean, we get to do routes on air, full speed. Um, you know, we're always constantly in communication, which is cool. I think, again, it's a younger room, but there's also some guys that are older vets that have played that can share on their experiences. So being able to help those guys kind of get on the same page, I think has been good for us. And I think we've all been been good. To, we've all been communicating well, and it's, it's worked out good. When this team at the moment is so pass catcher heavy, is it nice to have a lot of versatility? Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's cool because at the same time, you're, you're working with different guys every single day. Um, you know, I, I obviously we don't really have control of the roster, but um, to be able to have that, it's it is a little different. But it's cool because we get a lot more reps and volume. What do you feel like is a successful OTAs for yourself? Um, well, I think for me, from a standpoint of playing free, um, you know, we talk about it constantly in, in the quarterback room. Um, you know, sometimes we can get really robotic, uh, especially me. You know, we get, hey, here's a progression one, two, three, four. Um, but the game doesn't always work that way. So working with Coach Rags, um, you know, working with Coach London, just being able to come to come to the field, come to seven on seven, the jog throughs, just play free, play what you see, and, and trust your eyes. How difficult is it to build relationship with all the receivers when there is a, a decent number of them? I don't think it's necessarily a hard thing. I think for us, um, 
you know, for me and Des, it, it is nice because we are getting a lot of volume. So we're getting a lot of reps. We're throwing a bunch of balls. Um, so from that standpoint, I, I think we feel good kind of with everybody. And we're all getting similar reps. We're all getting this, the same amount of looks at different things. So at the same time, you know, it is what it is. But we, uh, I think we've grown, and it's, it's nice to come out here to have a bunch of guys. How much does a rookie like Desmond really give you a little bit of energy? <laughs> it is nice. It, it is good. Um, it's kind of funny. Like for me, he's he's just a little bit younger than my younger brother. So I kind of, you know, it makes me feel old, you know, talking to him a little bit. But um, it's been a great room. I think Des has um, got a bright future in front of him. But at the same time, I think it's fun to come out here and compete. And um, I think we're both making each other better. You keep saying play free. What is it going to take for you to get to that point? I feel like I'm in a good spot. Um, and I think what it comes down to is, just again communicating with the staff on things that we like things that I see um, maybe things that I don't like and um, what's nice is I, I really think that our relationship is at that point um, it's nice to have art you know somebody that I've been around um, you know it's been cool to get to know coach rags get to know coach London and I think we're all kind of speaking and, and talking the same way I heard you talking about the comparisons between Tennessee and now and, and you keep saying play free does it make it a little bit easier now that you do have a prior relationship with with guys like Art? I would say so and I, and I think I, I really learned from that experience and really learned from my couple years of being a backup you know I think when you have to sit down and watch it's a different perspective yeah. um, so with that being said, those experiences have allowed me just to come out here and just kind of use and use those as tools and, um, you know, to be around Art where he's kind of had a similar situation where he's he's learned. He's he's been a head coach now for just like a year. So to be able to kind of take those experiences that we both learned um, has really allowed us to come out here and I think just play better and, and to play quote unquote free, you know. How can working with AJ Terrell <clears throat> kind of make you a better quarterback? Oh, it's tough. I hate going against him every day. But, um, no, it's been good. And I think it's really good for our receivers. Um, you know, to get work with, with a guy that I think is, is one of the better corners in the league, um, you know, is great. So we look, we look forward to the challenge every day. Um, we know that it's going to make us all better. How much, uh, uh, how far along are you all with the install and uh, how much uh, shotgun and under center stuff are you all going to do? Uh, you know, it's dependent on day to day, really. I think what's important through this OTA process is getting the feel for what we do well, what we don't like, what we like. So um, we're kind of doing everything, which is nice. You get to go out here and, and do a bunch of stuff. And, um, you know, I don't think there's really something specific we're really working on. We're just trying to get a feel for what this, what the scheme can fit and where it's going to allow our guys to go out there and play well. What was it like seeing him run again? Because, I mean, he hasn't done a lot right? Yet, but, like, just even seeing him run and seeing him he looked good. Um, he, you could tell that he's getting more confident in himself with uh, planting on his leg, and um, he just looked good. Just whatever drills we do, he don't he don't opt out of, opt out on any of them. He always in in each drill and uh, just trying to see where he can move and you know where he weak at. So he he work on everything that he's weak at after practice, and uh, we we see that. So we know he gonna be back no time soon. Just a transition. For you, do you feel in some ways like you're you've become the face of this franchise? <clears throat> uh, I'm really just yeah, I'm really just focusing on me. So you know, if, once I'm as as I'm focusing on me, you know, things you know take care of themselves. And um, why not you know look at it that way? But uh, just holding myself accountable and keeping it that way is um, what I'm supposed to do. Well, they seem like they're using you for all of the you know, fun other things. Helmet yeah, that's like that. all that. All that stuff is sweet. Uh, come, come from hard work. You know, trusting the guys, trusting me, and uh, just putting in, just overtime, and uh, just having fun with it. Did, when, when you were a rookie, you were even last year, kind of knowing that eventually you were going to be a young guy that, as older guys moved on. Like, did you think that that would be a possibility? Of course. Uh, just coming in with confidence and uh, just doing my job. Like I said, I came in holding myself responsible. And um, as guys come in and go out, my role becomes bigger. So um, I have more experience under my belt and I'm um, just feeding it to the younger guys. What have you seen from Drake London? I know you guys are only doing seven on seven, but what have you seen from him out there? See a lot, you know, he's definitely trying to, uh, we, we're we competing, um, seeing where he's weak at, where I'm weak at, and uh, just having fun. And uh, just making the most of it, just making him better each day. He making me better. What about uh, Marcus and Desmond too? What are you, what are you seeing from them? Look good, uh, young, mobile. You know, just loving. You know, the way they operate with the ball and uh, just making good decisions.
AJ, does it come easy to you to be a leader? Um, it does when you're doing everything the right way. Um, just getting guys respect and uh, just moving accordingly. And how do you do it? Like vocally, by showing? Like what is your style of leadership? Uh, definitely showing. Um, becoming more vocal. You know, the confidence is, is always going up. So becoming more vocal, of course, but leading by example is the main thing. One of the things that Coach Pace told me was that he wanted you to be a more vocal leader. Right. And he's giving you that point of emphasis right. this week, right? On Wednesday, you led a meeting. Is that what I understand? Uh, yeah, you know, just, just you know, telling the guys where, where we at and um, just making sure everybody's on the same page and where we at right now, just um, in OTAs and how we could build on that going into camp. When he tells you that he wants you to be a more vocal leader, does it make you uncomfortable? Do you ex are you excited about the challenge? Oh no, I'm definitely excited. You know, I'm, don't make me uncomfortable at all. Just having fun with everybody and uh, just coming in to work with a positive headspace and just have fun. You didn't have the taller receivers really to go up against last year, at least in practice on a day-to-day -day basis. Does that give you a different type of look? Is that is that maybe advantageous <clears throat> to you? For when you face Mike Evans or Michael Thomas, like, are there benefits that could be there? Uh, you know, any receiver I go against is is they all are different. Whether they be tall or small, medium size, you know, they all got different traits, yeah. different um things that they bring to the table. So, you know, I just respect the guys out here, respect my opponents, and uh, just make plays. I, I so, how's it been out there for you during this? Uh, it's been it's been great. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, um, a lot of competing, uh, a lot of competition um, everywhere. So, I man, I'm having a blast. Uh, I'm, I'm having a real good time. I'm having a lot of fun out there. Where do you want to take your game this season? What have you been working on? Man, to the next level, to new heights. Uh, I got a lot of you know goals for myself, a lot of goals for the team. Um, you know, I'm really you know kind of got a real big chip on my shoulder, and a lot, and, and that's our team. Uh, that's our entire team. Uh, you know, we, we say it all the time. You know, we don't walk into the year as front runners. Uh, you know, but you know, I'm everybody looking to prove, you know, to prove a point this year. Uh, so you know, I'm I'm definitely excited for it. What have you seen from uh, Desmond and Marcus? Oh man, they're great. Uh, Marcus and Des, um, you know, they complement each other well. Um, you know, very similar in, in their games, and uh, really just seeing the competition, and also kind of just like the brotherhood in it, like the you know them two working together. You know, Marcus being the veteran and helping Des, and uh, you know helping him come along, and uh, you know seeing a lot of improvement from Des. You know, making a mistake and being able to bounce back and correct it. You know, that's all it's about, especially at this time. Is like you gonna make a mistake, but don't try try not to make the same mistake twice. And uh, that's what I'm seeing from those guys. So you say you had a chip on your shoulder. Where does that come from? Uh, man, it, it just come from me personally just tapping into a whole nother side uh, of myself. Um, you know, just wanting to be the player that I know I am, um, had the impact that I know I, know I can. And uh, that's really that's really what it is. Um, you know, and it's really just, I don't really care about doubters. I really want to prove to people that believe in me right. You know, I'm not looking to prove nobody wrong. You know, I'm, I'm here looking to prove to people that believe in me right. One of the things that Dave Ragon said was that the running back room has come along really nicely so far in OTAs. What have you noticed about your room? It's a lot of versatility, you know, you got, you know, whether you want to call it bigger guys, smaller guys, you know, you got, you know, we got backs that's 220, 225, and then we got smaller backs like, you know, Avery and At and J-Mac and, and, you know, and all those guys like that. Um, obviously, we still got CP, uh, so we got a lot of versatility um, and really being able to be positionless, you know, we can put us in different positions, different personnel, um, and, and we really don't have just one thing, you know, it's not like when this guy's in the game, they're doing this, when this guy's in the doing this, uh, so a lot of versatility in the room. What do you feel like could be maybe a strength this year that there wasn't last year? Is it the versatility that you're talking about? Absolutely, and just um, just just being able to go out there and make plays in the run game. Okay, when we were talking to Coach Smith today, I was asking about who's kind of impressing the most in the OTAs, and your name came up, and he kind of called you a hybrid player. What has it been like for you, kind of getting into? I know you've had some reps at tight end, but what has it been like for you for you this OTA? Uh, it's been fun. Uh, I was just telling them that it's really just been a learning process for me. Um, just. You know, I felt like I had a good grasp of the offense, but really just learning every aspect of it, whether it be the run game, you know, even going out there and like learning route stems and stuff, you know, it's different when you're a quarterback and, and throwing the route as opposed to when you're out there actually running it. So it's a, it's really a learning process and really just kind of having a foundation going into camp 
Coach Peel's done a great job really helping me with the transition, so it's been really fun. Do you think he could also make you a better quarterback, too, because now you're knowing more of the other roles? Absolutely, well? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, I mean, no no question. I mean, it really just like I was saying earlier in the run game, um, I've learned so much about just like the run game in general, playing tight end, things that I didn't know, calls that the you know the guys up front are making. So, you know, it's more than just handing the ball off, really like understanding the, the, the schematics of things. It's helped me a lot. Is that something, though, that you maybe could see yourself doing more of as being a tight end, or do you still see yourself as a quarterback? I see myself as whatever they ask me to do, and I'll do it, and I'll do it to the best of my ability, to be honest. What's yeah. the quarterback room like right now? Uh, it's fun. I mean, like I said, you got uh, Dez and you got uh, Marcus, both really, really great people. Um, super welcoming and, and you know even when Marcus first got here um, both really cool both really good people uh, really good quarterbacks obviously or they wouldn't be here so it's fun really getting to work with like those guys the tight ends really a combination of everybody it's, it's, a, it's a group effort so good camaraderie. Do you guys all kind of learn off of each other? Yeah for sure uh, I mean it's just there's so much communication like with the tight ends quarterbacks every position group that you know you don't really ever miss a beat like everybody's always on the same page so uh, I think that's a great job like just really a testament to like the quarterback room and, and really building that foundation for every position group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and me and Kyle have always been really good friends, you know, even from when we were in college. So it's really, um, you know, comfortable for me to go up there and you know, obviously just ask him because he's been doing it at a high level for, you know, a while now. So to go have somebody like that to just kind of talk to and ask, you know, pull aside and kind of see how he works his hands, how he does his feet, you know, because he does a really good job of it. So. Yeah, of course, I want to learn from somebody like that, top of the profession.